Welcome to Media Minute for this episode. It's spooky Halloween time. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. Yeah, and yeah, it's Halloween. It's literally yeah. the day of Halloween. Happy Halloween, man. Yeah, thanks. Happy Halloween to you. I mean, by the time anyone sees yeah, this. Yeah, anyone sees this, like, like it'll be like... Uh, like Remembrance Day. Uh, bonfire night, at least. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good night. If you're into, like, Guy Fox. <laughs> like, I, I grew up in, in Newfoundland, and of course, like, we have, uh, we kind of have, like, a strong, like, connection to, like, England and Ireland. Yeah. So, like, uh, November 4th, was was like a day where like people still have bonfires and burn effigies of Guy Fox in, really? in Newfoundland. In yeah, New- it's still a thing. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like one of the two places in the world. It's like England and uh, Newfoundland. <laughs> Is that legal? Like, it's, it sounds like a ton of fun. Um, but do it. The, the cops always show up. Yeah, well, the cops kind of monitor it. Um, okay, I think some people do like some fireworks and stuff as well. But yeah, bonfire night is a thing. Awesome. Yeah. We need we, well done. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of Canada's like, what the hell are you talking about? Guy Fox Night? What? Yeah, I mean, Just watch V for Vendetta, you know. Yeah, you you'll understand. <laughs> remember. Remember. Yeah. The fourth of November. Well, I mean, it is uh Halloween kind of kind of spooky season. And yeah. I do kind of have like a, a real life horror story from back home. So, okay. Okay. So, yeah, let's go. Here we go. So back before 1949, which was like when Newfoundland joined Canada, okay, there was a uh, they needed people uh, called the Newfoundland Rangers, which was like the police force for rural Newfoundland. They only existed for like 20 years or something like that. But anyway, these guys act as like cops and like government agents for like small like fishing communities and stuff. Okay. So anyway, there is this story about this uh, Newfoundland ranger, and he went to this one community. And they were like, uh, hey, there's this one family that kind of lives off in the woods or like on an island or an isolated cove. And uh, it's a, it's a father, uh, a mother, and a son. It's like, yeah, and nobody's heard from them. Are we going like hill, the hills have eyes? <sighs> not quite, not quite. Okay, just checking. But, yeah, so anyway, so uh, apparently this ranger, he – went to the location, and uh, what happened is, uh, you know, th- this family was kind of isolated. It was pre-Confederation, so kind of rough times. You'd have to survive on your own, do your own hunting, fishing, all that stuff. Yeah, sign of the times. Yep. So apparently the uh, the parents died over, like, the course of a winter or something like that. Okay. And what happened was is that, like, the kid is there. He's got these two bodies, and his like only connection to, with bodies is like dressing them out for like preparing them for meat. So apparently, <laughs> apparently he had his like parents' bodies strung up, like ready for like, I, I don't think he ate it or anything, but like that was his only connection to what to do with a body was like, you dress it down and you get it ready for like uh, preservation, right? So, <laughs> so you can cut some meat off it. So the the logical conclusion would be he was going to eat them at some point. Maybe. Maybe I, I, I guess uh, the the ranger kind of intervened before that, but yeah, this could be kind of a creepy thing. Like going to like an isolated cabin and there's like two dead it, adults, yeah, like kind of couple, yeah, and there's like a twelve year old kid. It's like uh, yeah, I'm just prepared it like I prepare my rabbits and my moose and my caribou. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty uh, messed up. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Yeah. <laughs> What, what uh, do you gonna... hear about the? Uh, uh, I, it was somewhere in the states, I think. Yeah. But uh, like, someone would like murder people and then like reposition their bodies as like having like tea parties, <laughs> or like just dinner or watching TV. Okay. Yeah. I think this might be an urban legend. Yeah. It's definitely got like a creepy doll vibe yeah, thing they would, going they, on. Yeah, they would make like tableaus with like their victims. Yeah. Man, we're off to a dark start. We are. We are. Actually, apparently there's like a um, a Japanese village that's, for the most part, it's been abandoned. But there's been one person and they put up like these mannequins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're I know just exactly like all, what you're all talking over the about. place. Yeah. Yeah. 
Apparently, it's, it's like creepy. Su- super creepy to like walk through. Or there's videos on YouTube of people like visiting, but you know. yeah, because yeah, everyone just kind of slowly just over just the course of time. Yeah, they just w- left the village, mm-hmm. and this one person just like just replaced to... them with mannequins. Yeah, yeah. Or what's that? Uh, that island in uh, I think it's South America that has like just dolls hanging from oh, a tr- yeah, like, yeah. trees all over the place. Yeah, it's just like doll heads and stuff. Yeah, like I guess that. like some like hermit lived there and just. I don't know where he got the dolls. But. <laughs> but. He's, he's got a collection anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. It's like the the real world is sometimes more messed up than like what you can, like what you write or, you know, a horror story or something like that. Yeah. Like like even a, a, the Elisa Lamb case. I'm not familiar with it. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't. Name doesn't ring a bell or anything. Elisa. Oh, man. She was a. She went down to she's Canadian. I think she's from Vancouver, from at least BC at least. I'm a, yeah. I might I might not be in Southeast Vancouver, but yeah, she went down to uh, California as a student and stayed in this really sketchy hotel. Oh yeah, I think I know about the hotel, the Cecil Hotel. Yeah. yeah, the Cecil. Yeah, yeah, which is and like it's on the edge of Skid Row. Yeah, like a uh, like literally what what they called Skid Row. Oh, the Night Stalker hung out there. Yeah, uh, Richard Ramirez. Yeah. So that's not a good start. No. She the one that ended up in the water tower? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there's that kind of famous footage where she's in the elevator. Yeah. Just like acting really weird and the door keeps or it won't shut and she's like kind of looking out and And she yeah, she ended yeah. up in the water tower. Yeah. Like, like naked. Yeah. I'm not sure how I can put that or not. Yeah, that's uh But it's it's a tragic story. It is, yeah. And but, uh, it seems to have been debunked. Yeah, because there, there's been a couple of YouTubers that have gone and like it's like okay, I guess because like one of the big things was there's no way she could have gotten onto the roof to get into the water tower. But a lot of people is like, yeah, she they just like yeah no it was, I did it myself it was actually pretty easy yeah, and she was quite fond of rooftop photography yeah like they checked out her Instagram and she just liked rooftops which is yeah yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's tragic. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know how. I, 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 I don't know how I would have felt like living in that hotel and like, hopefully nobody was drinking the tap water. They were. Oh, they were showering in it. Oof, they were drinking it. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, not good. Anyway, it's uh, Halloween. Do you have a yeah. Do you have a favorite Halloween candy? Favorite Halloween candy? Yeah. Anything that's like full size. Yeah. I'm down for it. Not 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 that fun size Halloween. Come on, man. I, I like a full size chocolate bar is is just blows. Uh, when you're seven, it blows your mind. Yeah. It's like, what? I, I eventually want to be like that house that gives away the full size chocolate bars. I'm not in yeah. that position right now in my life, but well, for one thing, we live in an apartment building. There's yeah. no kids there, so. But uh, can of pop is always good. Yeah. Um, I I was always a big fan of the not frozen freezies. No. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah. 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 You just get them, and you just yeah. There's like them. liquid. Yeah. 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 It's like drinking Always drinking that. blue. Yeah. Blue's blue's a fruit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Same with purple. Yeah. Um, for me, I, I think uh, I think I might have mentioned this before, but uh, I like the rockets, those, those little kind of hard candy things. I think they're yeah. called something different down the uh, down in the states, but are they? Oh yeah, yeah. They, oh, they're. Yeah, because like they're called like Skittles or something. Secret. Yeah, it, it's it's like a weird something. name on them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it starts with an S though. Yeah, and you got the least favorite. Corn candy. Corn candies. Yeah. I, Corn candy man. It's just wax. Pretty much anything licorice for me. Anything like even nibs. Uh yeah yeah no what? I'm not I'm not a Dude. huge licorice fan even red licorice like I'm not super stoked about. I'm upset. Yeah. We have a coworker that just like loves black ri- licorice too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's like, all about it. Yeah, he literally went to a candy store. He's like, he went in, is like, where's your black? Licorice? Yeah, <laughs> just, just <laughs> right to the chase. So like, there's no messing around. I was like, where's your black <laughs> licorice? I want it. I can't get it anywhere. <laughs> that poor not girl. even red licorice. I could, I could uh, see. I can, not I can maybe eat like him red black. licorice, but I wouldn't buy it. Wow. But, yeah. Yeah, not not a Twizzlers fan, man. Nibs are nibs are fantastic. Yeah, no, I I don't know. It's, it's something I have a weird palate anyway. You can't do anything like Clearly. hot food. 
and I don't like Twizzlers. But we're on the same page with bologna, so that's yeah, really all that matters. Um, yeah. Wow. Or um, oh, this one's kind of bittersweet. Yeah. But when you go to a house and they give you like those little boxes of raisins. <laughs> I'm okay with the raisins, but you'd rather have, like, yeah, candy. Yeah, yeah. Because you know their heart's in the right place. Yeah. Uh, they think they're doing you a favor, and they kind of probably are, maybe. Yeah. Chips or chocolate? Ooh, chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, th- I think I'm the same. Anything Reese's? Yes. I spe- <laughs> Speaking of which, I, I have had this week a Reese's peanut butter cup with chips in it. Like, I didn't put the yeah. chips in. You can buy Reese's Peanut Butter Cups <laughs> yeah, yeah, with, like, they come stock. like, potato chips inside. Thoughts? It's not bad. I, I don't think I would, like, purposely buy it again. It, it's, like, it's got, like, peanut butter with, like, a little bit of salty crunch. So mm-hmm. that can appeal to some people, I guess. Actually, there's a, there's a, um, now, that, now that we're talking about it, um, there's a pretzel one, too. Is there? Yeah, or has bits of pretzels in it. Brit- Why are they putting stuff in Reese's though? Like Reese's is, is okay as is, but they're just having fun with it. I, think. I, I guess. I guess. Like I, I bought I bought this package and like I didn't realize what it was. You got duped. I, I bit into it and the, like there's a certain like almost like an ick factor when you bite into something when you're thinking it's going to be soft and you suddenly hit a crunchy bit. Oh yeah, no, I totally understand. Which is a problem that I do have with raisins. Because sometimes you do get like, like a bit of stem or something. Like you're chewing on raisins, like crunch. You're like, I'm done. That like I, I can't handle this anymore. Like imagine like eating like a pumpkin pie or something. like there's sudden crunch there. Like it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it, your brain's not ready for it. It's just like WTF. What are you doing to me? Where's this crunch come from? Actually, there's a fun trick. Yeah. You get a friend to uh, close their eyes. And see if they can tell the difference between different types of milk. Okay. But at the end, you swap out the milk with an orange juice. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, they throw up right away. I bet. I bet. It's amazing. I, I don't endorse or condone that, but it is, it's just, just the truth. Well, yeah, it's amazing kind of the psychology behind it, like how what your brain can do to your body. Just like you're, you're thinking there's something different. It's like. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I think we've all been there. Yeah, yeah. However, if I bought a Reese's peanut butter cup that had pretzels inside it, I'd be surprised. I, like, like if I wasn't, if I didn't know I was buying it. Yeah. But uh, after the first bite, I'd probably be pretty happy. Yeah, well, with Reese's, once I figured out what was going on, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, why is it crunchy? I looked at the package. Oh, there's chips inside. Okay. Yeah, once you could adjust to it. Yeah. Yeah, make that mental shift. But like I said, what, if you're expecting something like soft and you hit that crunchy bit. Oh, yeah. Wicked curveball. Yeah. Your, your brain's like, yeah, what's going on here? What, what's wrong with this food? Yeah. So oh. full-size chocolate bars. Full-size chocolate I almost said candy bars. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. Is it though? It's, it's, I don't know. It, it feels weird. Candy bar. What do you call okay. soft drinks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why? Well, <laughs> I feel like there's a no. There, there, there's like a regional dialect thing of people. What do you say? Uh, I think I say pop for the most part. Yeah, like I don't say soda. Yeah. Yeah, I don't say soda either. Car- carbonated thing. drink. <laughs> a foamy beverage. Yeah, foamy be- fizzy drink. What they say in the uh, in the UK? You're buying fizzy drinks and crisps. <laughs> which which is pop and chips. And then they put the chips on a hamburger or like just yeah. a sandwich. Well, I mean, why not? Yeah. Do they do Halloween in the UK? I, I think they do to some extent. Maybe not as big? Yeah, I, I don't think it's Like, are they covering pumpkins? Are they doing... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, it's, it seems to be more of... Like, if you ever look at, like, the origins of kind of how Halloween is right now... It was super messed up because, like, there were little, like, children going around and, like, breaking windows and stuff. Like, the literal uh, trick part of Trick or Treat was pretty violent. Pretty, pretty yeah, violent. Yeah, I guess, I guess Halloween's origins go back to Europe. Yeah, yeah, it's the whole uh, pagan 
harvest uh, type thing. You know, you dress up so the, the demons don't take you. Yeah. Yeah. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It is. It's the most fun time. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a holiday. It's a state of mind. It is. Some people get really into it. Like, su- like oh, yeah. October is just like that month of Halloween. As far as I'm concerned, it's Halloween until snow hits the ground. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's the that's what I'm going with. I, I think if you actually took a survey and asked people if they want like a longer Halloween season, a lot of people would say yes. Yeah, like one one day for uh, yeah. You get to dress up. You get to decorate your house. You know. And can you even dress up anymore without getting in trouble? I I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna come dressed, come in here dressed as a Moana, but I looked it up and apparently that's not a, no not, not allowed. Yeah. It's a good movie, by the way. Uh, yeah. Well, people cosplay now, too. That That's like a thing. They go to conventions and stuff dressed up. So, like, yeah. like you used to have, like, dressing up as something. It was just kind of Halloween. But now, for some people, it's like a year-round thing. That's a lifestyle. Yeah. And pro- props to those people because, like, those suits and everything are hot. Yeah. I'm, they got to be. Yeah. Like, a it's so like if you're walking around at like convention floor for six hours, pretending that you're like a neon wolf. Yeah, like looking like yeah, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII with a thirty pound <laughs> cardboard sword dragging that thing around all day. Yeah, it's like props to you for That's, doing that, but I, yeah. I don't think I, I would. Yeah, you know, go through a crowd at convention floor with like some people on, on like stilts and stuff like that. It's like holy <laughs> crap. Yeah, you gotta you gotta admire the dedication and the skill. Yeah, man. Some well, people some, some crush people it. have actually like made a living from just like you know the really? conventions pay them to like show up in costume. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're that good. Yeah. Well, some some people are crazy. Yeah. So I, I think I like, didn't know it go it went that deep. The, yeah, there's. I, I've only ever been to one convention and it was like a half day one so oh i've been i've been to a ton i just, i didn't know there was paid cosplayers yeah yeah some Crazy. some people are uh, paid to show up for it um uh, and they're worth it like they you know some of these people will spend like two thousand dollars putting together some sort of like accurate costume yeah to all the cosplayers out there keep it up yeah yeah kill it and that's how people dress up as stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's like the, there, there's a group called like the 501st Legion or something like that. It's all people with like all like high grade, like stormtrooper armor. And they like show up to like fundraisers and stuff like that. It's like, hey, we're fundraising. You want some stormtroopers? <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Go see the stormtroopers. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, also Halloween. Yes. Got a must-see Halloween movie. Must-see Halloween movies. Night of the Living Dead? Yep. Have to give me. Uh, Dawn of the Dead? Yes. Which I'll be watching tonight. Yes. I don't know if you folks can see, but there's uh, yeah. a signature on there. There's that a movie. signature? Yeah. Tom Savini? Yeah. Special effects legend. Uh, probably best known as Sex Machine from, from Dust Till Dawn. Yeah. Had the the gun like <laughs> pops up. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, awesome dude. If you want to get into special effects and are willing to move to the Pittsburgh area, he has a school. Yeah, there's nothing like those like old school sure. special effects either. It's like oh, practical effects. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta go. Like I am a computer guy. Yeah, but practical effects, which I know nothing about. But oh man, it's just you got it. You got it. It's like s- like the, so good. The somewhere. thing. Yeah. The yeah, thing still, like, holds up. It yeah. came out, what, like, 82 or something like that. I watched that on Friday. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. If you haven't seen The Thing, the John Carpenter, The Thing. Yeah. Uh, the 50s one's good, too, but. Um, yeah, that was called, like, The Thing from Another World or something, wasn't it? Or um, it had, like, a longer title or more, I think it? something else. Uh, it's, it's all based on a short story, which was called, I think, Who Goes There. Oh. Yeah. I think it's the basic premise, though. Like, they find, like, an alien kind of frozen. Yeah. Yeah. John Carpenter's bill, man. And apparently, I don't know if it's, a, like, a movie or something. I think someone wrote, like, a story, but they called The Things. And what it is, it's The Thing, like, the same 
storyline, but mm. from the perspective of the alien. Okay. Yeah, because like it's like, oh, I crashed on this world, and there's these weird like pinkish things that are like chasing me around he's with flamethrowers. He's all confused. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, what's going on? Why are they stabbing me with hot pieces of metal? Right. I'm just on vacation, dude. Yeah. yeah. Going, like, leave me alone. Yeah, I think there's like an internet story or something like that. So that is a fantastic. That's idea. That's a great it? concept. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to see that. Like, uh, was it Bad Moon? Yeah, with a werewolf, but it's. The dog? Told for, yeah, it's told from the perspective of the dog. We need more of that. So, yeah, give me the monsters. Per- give me, a, like, a Bigfoot movie from the perspective of Bigfoot. Yeah. It's like, why are these people up in my area? I'm going to throw a rock at them. Or, like, the aliens in Fire in the Sky who are just, like, overworked. Yeah. And like, just need a day off. Uh, like, we just killed that guy. Guy. Travis guy. Uh, I, I don't even know how to spell Travis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to... Pump him full of energy and freak. And now he's freaking out at our ship and yeah. running around. Oh. I gotta re- a, resupply all these needles that we just put in his eye. Like this, yeah. this is a nightmare. We got a supply of chips that we stick in people for some reason. Yeah, we got a phone booth to find to put him in. Yeah. <laughs> do you know how hard that? Do you know how long it's gonna take? Man. <laughs> Yeah, just like some overworked like aliens. It's just like a white or uh, blue collar job. Of, yeah, <laughs> like, picking up these humans like chip. It's it's like a wildlife thing, you know. You you know you p- tag a moose, and track where it goes, <laughs> Sh- shoot them from the helicopter basically with a trank. Yeah. S- same same idea. Yeah, just yeah. Go home, get back to your wife and kids. Eat yeah. some eat some dinner. So whole concept. Maybe get a good pension. Yeah, the Earth is like a wildlife preserve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and again, like I don't know. Like, okay, okay. So you're you're an alien and you're abducting someone. Yeah. Why bring them back? <laughs> <laughs> like, you take them, you research them. You got all you need. Just I don't know. Shoot them towards the sun or just yeah, just out the uh, one of the docks. Well, I, I guess maybe it's all on the base. <clears throat> trying to. Put together some logic for this, I guess. Um, <laughs> Connect you, oh, yeah, it's like a catch and release wildlife thing. You chip them, you put them back. You know, they're yeah, they, yeah, yeah, maybe they, they, they're they very. Like, you know, th- imagine if you like tranked a, like a, a mountain lion, and you know, you chipped him. The mountain lion has lo- some lost time because he's drugged up. He's put back. He's a little groggy for a bit, and then he has to tell the other mountain lions like something from the sky took me. But I feel like if you're like, just to use your example, if you're doing like a lion, yeah, that's more of like an on-site thing. Yeah, you're not going all the way like over like thousands of light years, snatching up some trucker. Yeah, taking them to space, doing God knows what. Yeah, allegedly. There's always probes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the penetration thing is weird. I don't get it. Yeah. I, you know. Like, couldn't they just scan you? Yeah, you think they'd have the technology, just like a remote scan. It's like, yeah. Boop. Okay, that's a stat. They got to get all medieval on you? Yeah. And then, like, you know, they got to combine your DNA with, like, a alien. So you have, like, an alien baby that they show you once in a while. <laughs> well, that seems pragmatic. Yeah. I get that. You got, you got to have, like, a hybrid baby. For yeah. Some, for As one does. Some re- like what's what's the point of the hybrid baby? I don't know. They can just jump higher. I guess. Or maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a. I got nothing. Do the whole like, lizard, eye blink thing. Yeah. Have, yeah. You yeah. Seen, have you seen those news clips? Of the like, uh, there's like a of Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> are popping up with his uh, barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly, he'll have barbecue sauce in the in the background. And there's that new one where he, he looks like a, like one of the people out of the, the Black Hole Sun music video. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> where he's, that, he's that, like, that's a reference, yeah. It's like, hi, I am a human. I am doing a human thing. F- and Facebook is going to be meta now. Yeah. Yeah, and, they're and, switching and they're, it up. They're doing like a, like a 3D like interactive program. like a. Yeah, you don't have to interact with a human being anymore. No. You can you just be an avatar. interact with their avatar. You don't have to leave the house. Yeah, no. Yeah, you just look at their like creepy model. Yeah, human interaction is just yeah been nuked. Yeah, it's 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 the Matrix, man. It's the Matrix. I know you're joking, but 
you're not wrong. <laughs> no. No. It's uh, kind of terrifying. It is. Meta? Yeah, I, I won't be. Uh, I won't no, be, I'm, I'm. I won't be playing not, that game. Not, not signing up for for Meta for sure. Like I don't even use Facebook. Yeah, really. I I just use it for birthdays. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is a fantastic. Oh, birthday my second Vegas. cousin's having a birthday. Oh, better. Happy birthday! <laughs> there you go. Boom! Thanks, Facebook. Bam. Oh, since it is Halloween. Yeah. Got my mini my mini Funko Pop here. Elvira. Yeah. Spectacular movie. Yeah. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Yep. And she is looking great. Or I think I'm pretty sure she's seventy. I'm not sure how old she is, but she, yeah, she looks fabulous. Yeah, absolute legend, Cassandra Peterson. Yep. If if you don't know who Elvira is, then you're not allowed to participate in Halloween. Yeah. Sorry. Watch the That's movie. The uh, I mentioned this before. Fun fact about the movie: it's the same set from like Back to the Future. Yeah. Like it's the I same that. same uh, town square, and the house that they use is. I think it's the old Munsters set, so. Oh, yeah, just add so many layers to it. It's yeah. great. <laughs> so, yeah, Cassandra Peterson. Yeah. I know you're watching. <laughs> so, uh, we love you, and happy Halloween. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Elvira, classic, classic. Used to be a lot of those, like, old kind of shows that would have, like, a host and. Mystery Science Theater? Yeah. There's another one. That's still going. Yeah, no, is it still going? I know they brought it back for a bit, they, but I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, I, th- I think they're still doing Netflix episodes. Good. Yeah. Uh, there was, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there was a couple, like, Canadian ones as well. Like, I remember seeing one. There's a guy, he had, like, a prosthetic, like, turtle head. Kind of looked like something out of um, hmm. Star Trek. But, yeah, I remember they did a episode. I think I saw one where they did, like, uh, the Swamp Thing. Nice. Yeah, and uh, another one was like Enemy Mine. Like they. Oh, nice. Yeah, they they show like movies on TV, and they'd always have kind of like little cut ins and huh. talk about like the actors and stuff. I th- I think it was like a sci fi like Canadian sci fi thing. I could be wrong about that though. Yeah, yeah, that genre kind of went away, didn't it? Yeah, the whole. Although Elvira is not a plug. Well, I guess it is a plug. Yeah. But it has a thing on like that on Shutter. Shutter just came yeah. out, so. Yeah. I, I've seen it advertised. I haven't Shout seen out. it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well. And Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Raid Shadow. That's still going. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. S- s- the once in a while, you'll still see like an ad for it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, and, <gasps> hottest game of 2018, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No no shade to Raid Shadow Legends. If you all want to get on board of this, I don't know why you would, but if you want to. Remember, I don't know if you remember this, but like uh, back in like the early 2000s, you go or mid 2000s, you go on like a, a website, maybe like a s- little bit of a sketchy website. And there were like advertisements for these these games and be like, play discreetly in your browser. What's that even mean? Play discreetly. In, like, why are you being yeah, discreet about it in your browser? I don't remember that. No. It'd be like a picture of like a, a sexy elf or something. Be like, play discreetly in your browser. <laughs> I never clicked on them, so I don't know what what the, what these games ever were. But that was like, <coughs> oh, they're probably just viruses. Per, pretty much, pretty much. Or Trojan. Yeah. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Well, I'm like sorry. I said, said, you would see these on kind of like sketchy sites, like looking for South Park episodes or something online. Uh, uh, Kazaa. <laughs> Limeware? Limeware. Thematrix.mp3.exe. That's legit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <coughs> man, I'm so sorry. <coughs> okay, I'll bet. I'll bet. You get good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Once you figured out, like, what not to download, yeah, those sites were great. For sure. But for sure. there were so many people who just clicked on the top result and said, oh. Yeah. Ugh. Just burn your computer now. Nickelback.photograph.exe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. Yeah. Oh, you, know, you don't really hear a lot about viruses now, like in, in news, because for a while they yeah. were kind of, you know, it's, remember, it's like the Mona Lisa virus and uh, Y2K virus. And there was like a couple like named viruses that were like. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they started naming them. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Now it's just like hacks. Like they hacked that uh, oil, that pipeline. Was it last year? Yeah. Then that uh, that meat packing thing happened. 
So it's more hacks than viruses now, I guess. Yeah, it's, but, but it's more is there really a difference? Yeah. Um, well, a virus is basically like an automatic mess up your system. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. All I know is don't mess with 4chan. No. Don't poke do, the bear. Do not. They will they will track down Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. <laughs> from like a, a a plane in the back of a, it was I'm not sure if that was Shia LaBeouf, but like they actually tracked down yeah, well, a, no, a, was, yeah. a, a filming location from like a plane in like a a picture because someone like looked up the flights, looked up the yeah. oh, oh, yeah, time even, of day, all, like all that stuff. Yeah, like even the uh the constellations, yeah, uh the weather. <laughs> and then they got a guy to like they kind of like kind of zeroed in. Yeah. So they got one dude to like drive around where they thought where this area was and just honk his horn because it was a live stream. Yeah. And then they waited to hear the honk and then they found it. And he was like, <laughs> yeah, like that's the place. So they uh, took down, uh, he had some flag on a pole. Yeah. And they took it down and put up a MAGA hat. <laughs> Man, they actually, uh, for, when 4chan coordinates, they can do some, they, some amazing stuff. Yeah. So, I, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure that they have actually helped take out, like, terrorists. Like, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, someone posted, like, something with the, their geodata and the 4chan was like, here you go, CIA or FBI or yeah. whatever. They sent a uh, pit bull to Alaska? Yes. A Walmart yeah. in Alaska? I remember And that. he played along, so points to, points points to, to Pitbull. Mr. Mr. No. For, uh, Who was, was Pitbull Mr. Worldwide or is that someone else? Or that Mr. Worldwide? I'm not sure. Yeah. Is that DJ Khaled? No. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure. Or they sent, they tried to send a Taylor Swift to sing at a school for the deaf. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, there's the whole naming boats. Yeah. Thing, and Mount, the Mountain Dew thing. Yeah. It was it, amazing. The Mountain Dew thing. Look it up. Like, uh, I don't think we could say it. Yeah. We, we, we're kind of just kind yeah. of well, we, skimming we, the... We, we can say Bodie McBoatface, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of them, uh, the Mountain Doom was like, name it Diabetes. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, 4chan has done some hilarious things. I don't know if they're as big as they used to be, I think. Yeah, kind, I haven't heard from fallen, them lately. Fallen off. I, I'm pretty sure they're still active, but. Uh, Hope so. The, the hacker known as 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The bird that is the bald eagle. There you go. There you go. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of like 2007, 2008. It was like. Apparently, peak 4chan time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Or they got Oprah to... to oh, yeah. <laughs> a thousand... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. The Dragon Ball Z sort of reference. Yeah, yeah. Over 9,000. That, yeah. That, yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could just sit here and reminisce about 4chan all day, but pro- no one probably wants to hear about that. No, no. We were talking about Halloween. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Oh, for for me, for much watch, must watch for Halloween. Uh, I got to do like Evil Dead Army Darkness. Nice. Um, trying to think what else. I, I got a few. Oh, Ghostbusters. Okay. Uh, yeah. Got got to do nice. just first first Ghostbusters movie. Like second is kind of. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of same movie, isn't it? I still I still liked it. Pretty much, yeah. I, I liked it. Of course they. Controlled uh, the what was it uh, uh, the late the Green Lady Lady of Liberty, what's her oh, name? Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. They controlled her with a Nintendo controller. Yeah, Remember? they did, didn't they? Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> that's a bit of a weird one. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, still waiting for the the, <laughs> the new one to be viewable. Like yeah, like when's November like eighth or like eighteenth? Oh, so soon. Yeah. Okay. Next next couple of weeks or something like that. So seems a little late. Yeah, you think they do it like a pre Halloween thing, but I don't know if they're waiting for like limitations mm-hmm. for some stuff to be lifted again. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But that was filmed. Filmed in um, Alberta somewhere. Around Drum mm-hmm. Heller, I think. I could see that. Yeah. Just judging by like the trailer, yeah, yeah, I, th- I think I believe it's it. like around Drumheller because it's kind of like flat and whatnot. I'll give it a watch. Um, I'm not a hundred percent hopeful for it though because like the main characters are like kids, so yeah, I don't know what to expect from it. Like, yeah. I don't get Paul Rudd running around a Walmart yeah, or some sort of department store. More of a Stranger Things vibe. Yeah, 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 and not just because the kid. Yeah, but it definitely just seems like they're. 
taking a page from that book. Yeah. A lot of, like, YA stuff. Yeah. It'll probably be better yeah. than the 2016 version, though. Which is probably better forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't like to talk about it. No. No. We, we deserve better than this. Yeah. I never, I never actually saw it, but from what I've heard, and actually, well, I've seen clips and stuff, and yeah, and uh, I, they tried like a lot of improv stuff, which didn't really work, and yeah, so. it was just like a like a bad SNL skit, yeah, from what I could tell, pretty much. And I, I mean, the first movie did that, but they did it like well, it was very lightning in the bottle. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, a lot of what Murray did on set was like improv. It's like where he's like hitting the piano. It's like they hate that. Um, that that was just him like dicking around on set. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, you know, just even just the talent there. You got Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, that's like classic Rick SNL. Moranis. Yeah. Oh yeah, the cast was Inc- classic. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was originally written for when Aykroyd originally writ- wrote it. It was like written for him, uh, Eddie Murphy. Really. And uh, Jim Belushi. Uh, oh. Yeah. Murphy oh. Murphy was supposed to be um, Murray's character, I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, and, man. And I think uh, – I forget. But, yeah, that script, like, saw some major rewrites because uh, I think it would have cost, like, a huge amount of money to film because, like, he had, like, the Ghostbusters, like, traveling through dimensions and stuff like that. Oh, Before right. Harold Ramis came in, it's like, yeah, if we want to shoot this, we, it has to be, like, affordable. Right, let's keep it in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Although Eddie Murphy would have, oh, no. I'm not, I'm not saying Ernie Hudson wasn't awesome. Yeah. But seeing Eddie Murphy in Bill Murray's role, or wait. Wait, who, who's Eddie Murphy supposed to be? Yeah, he's supposed to be uh, Murray, Murray's role. So Vankman? Uh, Vankman, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting my characters mixed up. Yeah. No, I'd like to see uh, Eddie Murphy and Bill Murray together in Ghostbusters. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that would be great. I, I think... Uh, Just add it to my wish list. I, I think Murphy was filming like Beverly Hills Cop 2 or mm-hmm. something like that at the time. Yeah, that wouldn't have been his peak, hey? Yeah, that was when he uh, kind of stepped away from SNL and started shooting movies. When people used to like Eddie Murphy's movies. Yeah, that was... He hasn't really done anything lately, but, like, no. he had this, like, great career, and then it quickly, like, fell off a cliff. Yeah, there's that, like... Um, well, I mean, there was the whole thing of him dressing up in fat suits for... There's, like, three or four movies where he dressed up in fat suits. Wasn't there an issue with him and a, a lady of the night? So, allegedly, I guess. He, he claims they didn't realize it was the lady of the night, I think. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. 80s, 80s 90s, well. N- nothing excuses Norbit. No. Or Pluto Nash. I'll forgive Pluto Nash. I'll forgive Pluto Nash? Yeah, why not? I, I can't even remember anything about it. If Shazam can exist? Yeah. Or sorry, Kazam. Wait. Yeah. No, Shazam is the superhero. Right. I mean, the, the yeah. uh, Mandela effect. <laughs> Kazam was Shaq. Yeah. If that can exist, then Pluto Nash is, is clear. Well, there, there was a whole, like, sh- there was a, uh, everybody used to claim that there was a, a Sinbad movie yeah. where he played the genie, but it doesn't exist. But, like, everybody remembers, like, seeing the box for it. I can picture it. Yeah. Whether that's a memory or not, or I guess. It's I, I think debate. everybody was picturing Kazam, and I I don't know, like, I th- why they put Sinbad in there for some reason. Yeah. I don't know if it's just the name Sinbad, but... Sinbad, Genie, kind of... You know, maybe. well, I, I think Sinbad, you think kind of like Arabian Nights. Yeah. And one of the stories from Arabian Nights was about a genie. Yeah. It's the Aladdin story. So, yeah. We can... With enough red string, we can connect those yeah, dots. Yeah, for sure. Do the Charlie Day thing or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think they actually, like, shot, like, a fake trailer for, like... They did, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, okay, we'll I might that. have to cut that in here. I might, yeah. If I can find it. <laughs> oh, man, it feels good to get out that thing. Woo! Kind of cramped up in there. Should have took you long enough, Tina. Wait, y'all are not Tina. Kidnapper! Wait, 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 w
you going? I just got here. You're just like, okay, here you go. This is the movie that ex- doesn't exist. That you like, everyone wants so much to exist. What happened to Sinbad, though? I have no idea. Yeah. Like, uh, Jingle All the Way? Yeah, he was in the Jingle then... All the Way. And there was one where, like, he was house-sitting or something like that. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There wasn't, like, a huge, like, there was, like, a couple of Sinbad movies, but there weren't that many. He had a show for a bit. Yeah. I mean, if he's living in L.A., I'm sure he's, like, still doing, like, stand-up and stuff. But Yeah, probably. Yeah, like. Hitting the comedy store. Oh, yeah. Going down there. Yeah. I assume. I have no idea. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I know the comedy store is, like, a big place for the comedians. but Yeah, I'd love, I would love to check it out. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, we're supposed to be talking about Halloween. We keep. We're so bad at doing this thing on topic. <laughs> okay, the, uh, but before we get back to Halloween, yeah, for some reason the Sinbad thing made made me think of a what was it a Hulk Hogan movie where he was like Mr. Nanny? Um, I think that might even be the title, Mr. Yeah, Nanny. Yeah, I forget. All all I can think of, like I know that one. He dresses in like a tutu. Yeah, that that well, that was like the box art, like him in a tutu, I think. And there's a shot where they got it by accident, but he's riding a motorcycle down the highway. Yeah. And you see a guy just chucking a dog into the lake or the ocean. I <laughs> oh, guess. yeah. Yeah. I might have to look that one up too. I just want to go fishing in the deep blue sea. Cause I need a change from my reality. This world can beat you down, beat you with a stick. You fall in that sweet pot, they give you up for two minutes. Yeah, yeah, watch that. It's in there. There's this, uh, he's, it's just like a montage of him riding this motorcycle, and then in the background, you see this guy just hucking a dog, yeah. just yeeting him right into the ocean. I remember that one, and I remember Suburban Commando with uh, Christopher <laughs> Lloyd. <laughs> I was frozen today. Man, movies aren't what they used to be. No, no. Anyway, back to Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah. Um, scary stories. Uh, Yeah. Well, aside from the one I told earlier, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Do you have one? Well, I already told my Ku Klux Klan story. Yeah. Yeah, that was... That was weird. That was weird and I don't creepy. Know if I should repeat it. But. Yeah. Uh, long story short, I was trick-or-treating with my mom. I was like seven or eight. I opened the door. And there was a wizard. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was greeted by uh, at least two potential clans members. They threw a quarter in my plastic pumpkin pumpkin and, and then they close the door on my face yeah that's, that's the long and short of it yeah it's uh yeah that, that's pretty scary it's been 30 years Mr. It's, <laughs> it's been 30 <laughs> years oh man um, definitely memorable yeah, yeah other than that no yeah i don't really got any like spooky do you experiences have, on halloween do you have a like a horror movie that kind of. What, what was your first horror movie? Do you do you remember? The fir- the first horror movie I remember yeah. was Ghoulies. Okay, scared the crap. I have not out seen Ghoulies. Upon rewatch, it's not scary. It but when you're up. like, I think I was like five. Yeah. Oh man, I was I was like crying scared. Yeah. And I loved every minute of it too. Like I love like that. Is probably what. Made me such a fan of horror movies. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of like creature effects and stuff. Like I haven't seen it, but I know like the the creatures, right? Yeah, yeah. They got, they're like little little gremlin. Well, they're, they're called ghoulies, but yeah. they're basically they're little uh, did little the, monsters. Was ghoulies the one where like it's the picture of the toilet? Yeah. And there's like a hand. Yeah, yeah I remember. It's a little green guy. Yeah, I remember seeing bald. seeing the. Uh, what, remember when you go to the video store and you look. Looking at the, oh, I would spend hours yeah. at a video king, in Ajax. Me and my buddy Scott, like literally hours, just yeah. in the horror section. Just looking at just, box covers. Yeah, yeah. It's like it, it was like a library, but better. Yeah, I actually think I, I do like libraries. I'm yeah. Just saying. First horror movie for me. Like, yeah. Like, it might have been like one of the Evil Dead's. Well, that's, that's a good way to start it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I remember. I think I mentioned this before. It's like, Ernest scared stupid. Oh, <laughs> scarred me. It was like trolls turning kids into wooden dolls. Yeah, that was kind of messed up. Yeah. 
<laughs> Put it in the best of ways. <laughs> also, here here's a Canadian reference for you. Remember what, Mr. Dress? Up? Remember Mr. Dress Up? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Remember, remember the owl from Mr. Dress Up? Yeah. The voice that he would put on for that owl used to creep me out. It's like, do it, do we, do it, do. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, it was <laughs> off putting. I never thought about that before. Yeah. That owl man. Oh, man. Yeah. And the eyes. Well, w- eyes I, know what, <laughs> I know what my nightmare is going to be about <laughs> tonight. Do it, do we, do it, do. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. If you don't know who Mr. Dress Up is, he was basically like the Canadian Mr. Rogers. Yeah. And I think he actually trained under Rogers for a bit before. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Doing um, his own. Oh, yeah. Crazy. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Used to be. I like that. That's if you're sick, like from school, mm-hmm. probably be watching like Mr. Dress Up. And the Flintstones at lunchtime. Yeah. And P- Price is Right, of which course. I think is like a universal, like sick film from yeah. school. <laughs> yeah. Or even if you if you live close enough to your school to go home for lunch. Yeah. Then, yeah, you're watching Price is Right. There also used to be a, uh, I think it was filmed in Vancouver. There was like a cooking show with this uh, Walk with Jan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would have a, uh, every episode he'd have his apron and there'd be like a different walk pun yes. on it. Oh, man, I totally forgot yeah. about this. Yeah, thank, you walk for, with, yeah, thank you for he, bringing me back to yeah. my childhood. This is incredible. It'd be like, walk, don't run and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be okay. <laughs> Yeah, walk with you in. I never cook with a walk, but oh, yeah. I, that was like, if you're home sick from school, watch Walk with John. And well, oh, there was one more. It was a guy from the East Coast, and he'd always like drink wine while he was. Uh, the Urban Peasant. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where I pulled that from. But. <laughs> so a little bit of butter, yeah. a little bit of wine, a little more wine. Yeah, Urban Peasant. Urban Peasant. Oh, what a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Total pro. <laughs> So much to do with Halloween. Yeah, we are just <laughs> educating everybody about o- October 31st. Do you have a, a favorite foreign horror movie? For Halloween? Yeah. Ooh. Maybe maybe something on the display. Yeah, uh, maybe something. I can't quite put my finger. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. I know that was corny. House is fantastic. House. Japanese. 1977, I think. It, hey, you got that right. It's I'm, like I'm a, terrible dates. It's like a fever dream. Yeah, it's madness. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's more David Lynch than David Lynch is somehow. Yeah, like David Lynch probably blushes when he watches this movie. Yeah, but yeah, House Japanese movie from 1977. I'm so proud I got that date right because I am terrible with it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, a bunch of girls named after their uh, kind of characteristics. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know like, if I should even start trying to describe this movie. Yeah, just just watch it. Yeah. Just House. watch it, and it's you're mayhem. in for a ride. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's mayhem. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's confusing. It's And it's released on the Criterion Collection, so yeah, it's got credibility, too. Yeah, House, watch it. Yep. Here's, oh. a, here's a deep cut for you. Uh, watch Sweet Home. Because Sweet Home was, the, it was a Japanese horror movie. They did a Nintendo game for it. And that Nintendo game was the inspiration for Resident Evil. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah. that was a roller coaster of information. Yeah. Okay, one, one step at a time. So, yeah, you got, you got this Japanese horror movie called Sweet Home. I forget. What's it about? I, I think these people go to, like, a mansion and there's... Uh, they're supposed to be like restoring paintings or something like that. Okay. But anyway, it's like haunted or or whatever. So uh, yeah, th- they did the movie and then they did like a, a Nintendo game or a Famicom game, and you played like the characters in the movie. But the thing was, what was the game called? Uh, Sweet Home. Sweet Home. Yeah, it was, it's the same thing. So I, I keep thinking of Maniac Mansion. Yes, which is another thing entirely. Um, but yeah, you, you have the characters and. Uh, resources were limited. Like, you couldn't go to a store and, like, buy potions or anything like that. Okay. So it was the first survival horror game. Oh. And that inspired Resident Evil. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Which, there's, like, a series or a movie coming out, and I mm. don't know how it's going to be. Mm. Like, they showed the characters, and the characters really didn't really look like... 
Weird. Like, uh, characters hey, from the game. Hey, do you want to watch a starvation simulator? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really, no. Oh, man. Well, um... How are we doing for time? How are we doing? Yeah, we're 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And we barely talked about Halloween. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I got... Obviously, I decorated a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... It's awesome to have a Halloween with no snow on the ground. Yes. Uh, if, if you're lucky enough to have that, too. We'll, it, yeah, being we'll able run. to, like, wear your costume without a snowsuit. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Especially in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. So she isn't like. It's like I remember wearing like a literal snowsuit and then it was like a rubber Ninja Turtles mask. That was it. That was my costume. Yeah. I, I, was, a, I was a cold turtle. <laughs> You're just all like puckered. Yeah. <laughs> Treat. See, I grew up in southern Ontario, so we didn't really get snow until yeah, like yeah. January. Yeah. At least when I was a kid. Yeah. It was, it was kind of the, the, the meme. It's like slop snow on, on Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, everyone. Should we wrap this up? Should yeah, we should I probably think, wrap this I up. Think, eh? I think we'll wrap this one up. All right. Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Yes, happy Halloween. Delated. Yeah. yeah. By the time you see this, uh, if you got any suggestions yeah. on a topic, maybe a movie we could watch or something like that, you want us to talk sure. about, we'll take it. Yeah, and then we'll have we'll have to do a dedicated UFO show. Yeah. Because sure. I've I've been doing some research. I've been talking to Tom DeLong. Ooh. No, I haven't. But uh, I've been doing my own. I've been doing some digging, and I found some uh, some stuff. Yeah, we'll have to bring it up. Yeah, yep. I I have it written down and everything. Nice. Yeah. Prepared. Dedicated. Yep. Do you want to talk about your teeth? My teeth. Well, not my teeth. I mean, they belong to me, but they're not mine. Yeah, it's, it's like a dental model. Yeah, yep. dental model from a uh, Kiro, Kiro, Japan. There you go. So if you're a dental student, there you go. I don't know if the focus is gonna. Ah. Yeah, if you want to study a mouth. Yeah. I probably should have phrased that better. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I got a mouth. I, I like the lips. They're like super thin lips. It's like, yeah, I think yeah, I think it's just kind of, you know, when you walk into a store, and you just see something and like, okay, I'm buying this. Yeah. For some reason, it re- reminds me of Beetlejuice. It's a very, like, Beetlejuicean type thing. Yeah, kind of like Alec Baldwin. and uh, We're not allowed to say that name anymore. I think that gets us banned. Baldwin? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, like, we're not allowed to say his name right oh. now because YouTube's going to tank us. Yeah. Oh, crap. I'm not going to cut it out. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Well, but, yes, sometimes you walk into a thrift store. Uh, found these in Edmonton. Yep. Edmonton, Alberta. Amazing thrift store. It's even got a, what, what's a, U- Ungla or whatever it's called. A- yeah, they're like the... I know that's not your tonsils, but I always thought they were your tonsils. Yeah. That thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm, here we go. Now, now I have to focus. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I own a mouth. Why not? I got to stop. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for watching this episode <laughs> of Meaty Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski, who's going to watch Dawn of the Dead yeah. and House Night. And Freddy vs. Jason was actually a pretty good movie. I've seen it. I don't remember much about it. And all hail Elvira. Yes. Happy Halloween. See you next time. You betcha. Bye.